As the new energy vehicle market continues to expand, off-road models that were once considered difficult to reinforce have also opened up a new world. After this model was launched, related tests continued. Recently, BIC officially established three tough tests for the battery safety of BJ60 Thunder. Through the real test with real materials and materials, consumers can better see the safety performance of BJ60 Thunder, setting an example for new energy off-road safety. The first test is the temperature test. Unlike many urban new energy vehicle owners who do not have to face the low temperature test, the driving range of off-road vehicles will face more difficult weather conditions. Therefore, the temperature was directly lowered to minus 40 degrees in the first test. A BJ60 Thunder vehicle was submerged in 500 mm deep water and frozen in a minus 40 degrees Celsius environment for 72 hours. It was left with a problem that far exceeds the daily winter conditions that can be encountered. Afterwards, the BJ60 Thunder, which was frozen into a huge block of ice and thawed at normal temperature, was then unlocked and started driving. There was no problem with the vehicle itself. The safety standard achieved by this test is 96 times higher than the national standard. The second test was the impact test. This time, a metal weight weighing one ton hit the chassis of the BJ60 Thunder from a height of three meters. After the test, the Xuan Wu armor under the Aurora battery off-road version of the BJ60 Thunder was only slightly deformed and could not damage the battery pack. This test allows BJ60 Thunder owners to avoid the danger of being hit by foreign objects such as rocks and damaging the battery pack when driving in the wild. The third test was even more extreme. It was the 5-meter drop test. The BJ60 Thunder vehicle fell freely from a height of 5 meters, and when the chassis hit the ground, it directly hit a huge hard obstacle. The impact force on the preset object reaches 2611950 N. This impact had a greater impact on the underbody, and the deformation had reached the point of extruding the battery. However, thanks to the ultra-high vibration resistance standard of the release frame, 15 times the national standard, the battery pack could withstand 3.7 tons of extrusion. Therefore, after the test, the battery was still intact, there was no leakage or spontaneous combustion, and the vehicle could still start and move normally. Overall, the three tests not only tested the safety quality of the battery pack, but also carried out an important test on the safety architecture and chassis protection capabilities of the BJ60. The three horizontal and two vertical frame structures of the BJ60 Thunder chassis use six-series aluminum profiles and high-strength cast aluminum alloy materials. In addition, a large module surrounded by aluminum alloy frame welding and ultra-wide sealing is used. In addition, the BJ60 Thunder also has the first all-climate intelligent temperature control management, which can adapt to the ultra-wide temperature range of minus 41 degrees Celsius to 60 degrees Celsius. Cold start can be achieved even at minus 41 degrees Celsius. There is no need to worry about lack of fire when driving in Mohin winter, and by coordinating the heat of the entire vehicle to warm the battery pack in winter, it can at least increase the battery life at low temperatures.